Okay, here's the deal. At 87, a dream was set into motion. For years, they've been in millions of your living rooms. No couple has traveled the globe to bring you the adventures they do. Sport? Nah, it's a way of life. North America's favorite hunting couple are the real deal. They live at full draw. Close Encounters is what they do. It's not about glory, hype, or fame. It's about bows and arrows, baby. Draw, anchor, aim, release. Bucks, bears, bulls, birds, tree stands, ground blow. Line, spot and stock. Now that's what we're talking about. Real hunting, real people, real adventure. We are the Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. Yes, this week we're heading back up with Mirage. That's right. But things changed. Don't they? Because the world, yeah, <laughs> the world Outfitters Corporation owns Mirage and a bunch of others. Mm -hmm. So because there were, I mean, no caribou at Mirage right. or in and around even the vicinity is Nicholas took charge and he said, okay, you guys, I'm gonna have you come over, go over there. Go to so, different I mean, camp. Yep. Wow, okay. Which hey, is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Well, this week's lucky logo is Realtree. So watch for the Realtree logo. And if you Stimulus see it. package. Oh my gosh. If you see it, at the end of the show, we're gonna tell you guys what to do with it. Yep. Someone's gonna win some great Realtree stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of real trees around here too. Those are vines and rocks. That's uh. not real tree. I guess those might be trees over there, maybe. Well, this is it. I got Joey behind the camera, and he'll be in front of it this trip, too. We're going up to Mirage, back on the rut hunt in Quebec, and we are pumped. It is October 4th? 4th. I have to ask Joe, because I'm not really <laughs> sure anymore. It's October 4th. Just got back from Pike County last night. Joe and I are going up to, to, to Mirage. We're going to waylay on some rutting bulls. Chicago O'Hare. You know what I like about the city? The clean air. It's quiet. It's pristine. I mean, it's just, wow, it's like the wilderness. I dropped the truck off, and it's costing us $16 a day. Well, believe it or not, things have changed already. Last night when we got in, the World Outfitters Association, who now owns Mirage, Safari, I mean a whole bunch of outfits, the caribou are not anywhere near Mirage. So what they're doing, because they have the versatility of all these camps, they're actually moving us to a different camp. We are flying for the first time with Mirage. We're flying into Kujuak, and then from there, we're gonna go to a different camp. So we're not, we're hunting with Mirage, but because it's owned by the World Outfitters, Corporation, we're, we're actually hunting one of their other camps because the caribou just aren't Mirage. So if you think about it, I'd rather be where the caribou are. Hmm. Do you know why we're, we're taking you in Kujwek or taking, instead of taking you at Mirage? Okay. The reason is the two the trophy hunter, we had two that went there, and on 10 hours of flying, they didn't even land to shoot anything. Uh, Peter was there with two customers, still in camp. The only thing they killed so far is two cows. So uh, I told them I could take the people up here. If in order for you to kill Big Bull, there was no way that, we knew that there was no way you would do that over there. So I moved you here, okay? Uh, you're going to a camp called May Lake, okay? That today you will be alone. Probably tomorrow I'll bring people there. I got four guides in there already. And I got Chopper waiting for you. The caribou is not at camp yet, but it's at the camp right left of it, just north, uh, just straight west of it and caribou uh, uh, northwest of it also and they're moving fast we're in kujuak Ku Coming out? Yeah. 
Pardon? Well, Vic, we finally make it into camp. As typical caribou hunting would go, is it takes probably more time to get there than anything. Mm -hmm. And then, weather. Weather. You know what was the saying? If you don't like the weather right now, wait five minutes, it's going to change? It's going to change. Yeah, no, and it, it does. does. It does. And especially at that time of year in Quebec, you know, it's, it's October and it could be some rough stuff. It could be. So you don't want to go anywhere when we come back? Yes. We'll see if they actually get out of the... Okay, don't look down. Here, look at Avalanche. Welcome back. Welcome back to Archer's Choice. Now, Ralph, I found a cave. I think it's a bat cave. What are you doing with the rock? Oh, just looking. I mean, look Would at the detail. Put the rock down. <laughs> you know what? You're not right. Be throwing rocks at. There goes Vicky. <laughs> it's not nice. Not nice at all. Let's just get into his hunt. Here, let me help you. No, go away. Step away from the ledge. Come here. I'll, let me no, help you. I'm getting myself. Come on, seriously. No, <laughs> go. As you know, there isn't anything you could do or any any way to control the weather. With the white caps on the water, they're probably not going to let the boats go out. So the best thing you can do is just sit and wait and keep your patience and say, well, there's always tomorrow or there's always later today. Until then, I'm out of here. Last night, we had a front start to move in and that thing howled. The wind was howling all night long and well, you can see again, it's still here. Probably with the white caps, they probably won't allow any boats going out. Um, we don't know what the game plan is as of yet. Today's our first full day of hunting and uh, we'll see what happens. We are strictly here with our bows, and uh, this wind can, can cause a slight problem. All right, well, we just got to this vantage point. The wind has been jerking us around all day. Joey and I just ran, and we got here. We want to try to get to this, it's a narrow pinch point. The problem is we're seeing a lot of cows and calves. Hopefully there's some bulls in the herd, and if we get to a point, a vantage point, where we can at least see them coming a little bit of ways, it gives us a little bit of mobility so we could stay low and meander back and forth. So that's what we're gonna to try to do. I want a glass so we don't bump any. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine tip of the week. Here's your archer's choice tip of the week. This is in the field action. What happens a lot of times with you, whether you're caribou hunting, I don't care, moose hunting, elk hunting, deer hunting, antelope. You see there's not a lot of foliage here. What we do is we use our backpacks and we stack them up and we actually use them to shade us and we hide behind them. This allows us to get away with some more movement when you don't have the brush or the structure to break up that human silhouette, you create it. That is your Archer's Choice Tip of the Week. There's nothing we can do with it. We're getting busted everywhere we go. Those, they're gonna follow them. The only thing is, let's just, there's more caribou coming up. I, I, I don't know. There was that other pinch point down there. I mean, we just turned a pile of caribou. Yeah. I see him. 
When we get back, well, it's not like we worked into caribou. However, the problem was is that wind just kept, we'd keep it in our face, we'd get to set up, here comes the caribou, and the wind would switch. The wind was in, that made your hair go in your face so you couldn't see anything? Yes, cousin, it, just like this too, it's just, oh, it's in my eyes. <laughs> it's a problem you have, isn't it? Yes. Oh. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Yeah, well, now it's time, you know. Just like anything, and especially with caribou with the migration, you're into them, you're not, you're into them, you're not, you're into them, and finally you've got to get to that pinch point where, you know, as we as bow hunters and, well, That Joe kind of sounds I, like our relationship. I'm into you and I'm not, and I'm into you and I'm not. <laughs> That's all right, they'll start coming this way. Okay, it wasn't a pretty shot, but he's down. Oh, baby. We got caribou coming all over. We're gonna see if we can get Joe a shot. He's down right here. We ain't got nothing to worry about. Well, nothing like him swinging wide when you need him in tight. <laughs> Ralph shot a bull, right, he was right over behind us and these guys just started coming through. We moved in on him, trying to get back to the pinch. We had to drop down too early because we don't have any cover in front of us at all. And they swung wide on us about 74 yards. It's just too far. Not really proud of the shot, but that Spitfire XP did exactly what we needed it to do. You know, you just never get tired of seeing these magnificent animals here in the tundra. Look at the beautiful white cape. I mean, he's a great bull. He's got a single shovel. He's got real nice bezes. They're palmated. He's got some pretty nice tops. And it's just a nice bull. And you know what's really cool? Is he's bigger than Vicky's. Hey, congratulations, Ralph. Well, you thank got you, a Vic. caribou. I wasn't, you know, sometimes you don't get the perfect shot, but. Yeah. Animal went down real fast. That's right, he didn't cool. suffer. Nope, and now it's Joe. Joey Bag That's of Donuts. Right. You don't want to go anywhere because we come back, it's Joey's turn. Yeah, Joey Bag of Donuts. Does, is he okay? Can he do Joey this? Bag of Donuts, maybe he might bag a caribou, you never know. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Well, Ralph got his caribou finally, and now it's Joe's turn. Let's see how he can do. We set up here an hour and a half ago, and the wind was wrong. And we finally stopped all the way back up on these bedded animals, and the herd started to move. Joe, stop talking. The caribou are right in back of you. He's 
70 there. I watched Vicky shoot a bull like that a few years ago before I ever knew Ralph and Vic ever, ever even dreamt about something like this. And here I am, and not only am I here, but my buddy Ralph's one filming, man. Congratulations, Thank you, brother. boss. Thank you. Let's get my bull, man. <laughs> put it into words, how this feels. Sitting in the middle of the tundra, caribou everywhere. I've got my own caribou on the ground with a beautiful white mane. I can't even begin to, I don't even know what to say. I can't put it into words. I can't even tell you what, how awesome and vast and wide this area is. It's just pristine and exotic and dangerous. It's just awesome. Can't wait to come back. <laughs> hey Joe, congratulations. Joy bag cool. of caribou. Bag of caribou? Bag of caribou, okay. Joey. Well, you, Joey. Guys, you guys had a good trip. We really did. You know, and you got to thank no, Nicholas and had... Peter and everybody. Right. I mean, because the World Outfitters Corporation, beca mm. it, you've got to, you got to do what you got to do. That's right. I mean, when, when the situation comes up, I mean, whether it's bad weather or the caribou aren't moving, it's a migratory animal. It's going right. to happen and things like that. But you guys, you guys turned out to have a pretty good time. Yep, we did. And our, our bulls were bigger than yours, so it didn't, you know, we were just pumped up about that. We always want to thank Tourism Quebec. Absolutely. Right. And don't forget the stimulus package this week. The lucky logo was real tree. Real if you tree. happen to see it, log on to archerschoice.com, click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to win some great stuff from real tree. Yeah, you put it on, you won't be seen. Well, would you wear it more often? No? Hope right. you enjoyed this week's show. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. Can I push you down the hill? I'll push you right in that mud. Everyone liked it when I did it the last time.